Each of these images has text on them, and you can take these images and extract the text so you don't have to type up everything. This video is going to show you how to take any image and extract the text, whether handwritten or printed. And you'll also learn tips on how to get a clean translation every time. Thanks for the click, I appreciate you being here. My name is Steve, I'm your free virtual assistant, and if you're looking for 24-7 tech support and you want to become smarter and more productive with tech, consider subscribing. There's a free app I like to use on my phone and on my laptop whenever I want to make notes on the fly. And since I'm such a big fan of Google products, I'm talking about nothing other than Google Keep. Google Notes. Google Keep Notes? Whatever it is. This is a great free app that you can use to create to-do lists, collaborate and share notes with your contacts, or even create quick sketches if you think in pictures and you like to doodle. But the feature we're going to focus on today is the OCR, the Optical Character Recognition feature. That's a fancy way of saying that this app helps you to find text in your images and writes out the text for you. I like that. So of course, technology isn't perfect, so I'm going to give you tips on what to look out for after the text has been translated, and also how to avoid bad translations before you even take your pictures. Here we go. Now you can get Google Keep on your Android or your iPhone, just look in the App Store or in Google Play, or you can also go on any web browser to keep.google.com, and of course, you're going to need a Google account in order to access this app. After taking photos of your notes, create a new note. Select the photo icon and then go to the image that you want to upload and select it. Now keep in mind, square images work best here. Sometimes you'll get notes uploaded that look like this and, and that's not what you want. So in order to avoid this, change your phone's camera settings to use the 1 1 aspect ratio or use the phone horizontally when you're taking your pictures. Or you can make square images with any photo editing app. I prefer to use canva.com since it's free. Now let's get the text from our photos. Here, this first photo, I'm going to take the big bold text photo and I'm going to click on this menu icon here and then I'll click grab image text. Now, we see that it did a pretty good job of actually getting all the text. It missed these two punctuation marks, the comma and the period. So after it's translated, you still want to look at your text and make sure that everything was picked up. Now, on this next example, we're going to see some uh, handwritten text and how well Google Keep Notes actually translates this. So I've already translated this one and we see that there are a few errors here. Uh, this first paragraph was instead of just one sentence and two lines, it made this like six lines. The is got translated as open parenthesis five. My handwriting isn't the best. I'm kind of a chicken scratcher. So there are some errors here. There's a few more. It, it missed the punctuation on wheel. So I'm actually just gonna go through and correct everything here because there was a lot to actually, um, yeah, wow. Again, my handwriting isn't the cleanest, so. So we've corrected all the punctuation, we've gotten it to look pretty good, but again, it took a lot of cleaning up afterwards. So again, it's not perfect. But it does get all the text in there, you might just have to do a little bit of rearranging. Now this last example is where this does a really good job, and that's with printed text. And that's because Google Keep Notes really likes a straight line across. If, if it senses that something's deviating from that line, it's gonna like reshape the text in really strange ways. So let's see how the, the receipt actually looks. Every bit of information is there. We've got the item, we've got the totals, we've got the invoice number. I mean, everything came over. So keep in mind, if you do need this for your receipts, you wanna keep the paper as flat as possible. We see down here by the thank you, there was a crease. And so what happened was Google Keep Notes actually sense that and it kind of messed up the order of thank you put the you above thank it yeah it's kind of weird so we can just go ahead and uh, fix that if we want but that's really how you translate your handwritten and printed text if you found this tech tip helpful give the video a thumbs up and if you're looking for more tech support watch either of the videos on the screen right now stay safe stay healthy and wash your hands